using font awesome icons in webflow is pretty easy thing to do today i'm going to teach you how you guys can use font awesome icons in webflow so for that you need to you know download the font uh first so for that you will have to go to google and you need to search for awesome font download it. and i'll go to this website which is fontawesome.com and here you simply have to you know download this free for web after downloading it this should be the file you just need to extract it and this file should pop up now just keep it in the background now after that you have to go to this website which is fontawesome.com now here you simply have to go to the icon section now here you have to search for the icon that you want to put so i'm just going to search for shoes and I'll, i i want to add this shoe brand i'm going to click on that and i'm going to click on this glyph what it will do is it will copy it in my you know clipboard after that you have to go to your webflows editor so in order to add text i'm going to press ctrl plus e and i'm going to fast search for heading i'm going to add a heading and in the heading I'm simply going to, you know, paste it, control V. Now, this is our, you know, footprint, but it cannot read it just because we have not installed the files yet. So in order to install the files, you need to go to the uh, style section. And in the style, you have to go to the typography section. And in the typography section, you simply have to, you know, select the font. And here you have to click on this add font. Now, after clicking on add font, you simply have to, you know, select click on this upload font. And after selecting the upload font, you have to select these files. Uh, these w o double f two files these three files you just need to select these three files and i have to click on this upload and these files should be right here you have to click on this upload font title upload font type file and upload font file again now these fonts are uploaded into webflow you have to go back to webflow another thing you have to do is you have to you know scroll up until you see this slice style selector and here you have to type in f a icon you have to select that option and after doing the, the after doing this step you have to go to the font section and you have to select your f a font as you guys can see the font is added and the icon is added so that's pretty much it that's how you guys can do it hope you guys find this video helpful